Once we've completed our project and we've created some reports, we might want to print those reports and also print things like views and notes to distribute to other people. So let's take a look at all of those things. Now, if we want to print this report, all we need to do is jump up to the file tab and we have a print option in here. We're going to get a big old print preview on the right hand side so we can see exactly what this project is going to look like with the current settings when we print it out. And you can see on the left hand side, we can choose our printer and then we can choose what we want to print. So currently I'm printing the entire project from start to finish, but I do have some other options in here. Now, two of them are grayed out because they're not relevant for this particular project, but one of them is print specific pages. So if I was to select this, I can choose the pages that I want to print. Now, this is literally just a one page report, so it's just got pages one to one. But if you're printing something that had multiple pages, you're going to be able to select which pages specifically to print. And you'll also see in a moment when we try and print one of the task views, we can select the date range that we want to print as well. Now for the time being, I'm going to say print entire project because it is just one page and I can then go in and choose if I want landscape or portrait orientation and also select my paper size. Now I'm in the UK, we use A4 paper, so I'm going to make sure that it's set to that. Once we have all of our settings correct, we can simply click the print button at the top in order to run off this report. So let's click the back arrow to go back to our project. Because what we can also do is we can effectively copy and paste different charts from our report into other applications. For example, maybe I want to grab this little cost chart just here and use it in a PowerPoint presentation to present data to my managers. All we need to do is select the chart. We can press control C or we can go up to the task ribbon and choose copy. Then it's just simply a case of opening another application. I've chosen Microsoft Excel, but this might be Word, it might be PowerPoint, and I can then press Control V or use the paste button in the clipboard group. And you can see there is the chart. Notice it hasn't brought across the orange color because it's going to take on the properties of whatever theme I have applied in Excel, but I can go in, change the colors and set it back to orange. Now, what about if we want to print a view? I'm going to use TRP Gantt so that I can see my entry table and my Gantt chart. Now, when you want to print a view, it's very important that you set up your view so that you can see all of the information that you want to print. So that might involve adjusting some of these columns and maybe moving this Gantt chart over a little bit so that we can see all of the column information. So I think resource names is my last column. I'm pretty much good like that. Once I have that set up, if I then go into file and down to print, this is going to show me a preview of my entire project. Now take a look at this. It stops at the predecessors column and I have a resource name column after this. So it can't actually fit everything onto one page. So this is where I would have to start making some adjustments. So if we go back, I might have to make some of these columns a little bit thinner in order to accommodate the resource name section. So let's go back to file and into print. Notice now that we're printing a view, we can choose the date range that we want to print for. So we don't necessarily have to print the entire project and all of the tasks. We can choose a specific date range to print from. So let's say March the 1st, and we'll make this a really small range. Um, we'll say March the 27th. And when we print, it's only going to print that specific date range. Another thing we can do is only print specific pages. Now notice at the bottom we have 32 pages in this report. And if you're wondering what on earth we have on all of those 32 pages, if we click one of the views in the bottom right hand corner to show multiple pages, we're going to get this little thumbnail view. We can actually click to zoom in and you can see that because some of the bars are really, really long, they run onto different pages, which is why we actually have so many. Now it might be that you only want to print maybe the task entry table as opposed to the bars as well. So you can definitely do that. Now, one other thing to notice is that we have this legend underneath our task entry table, which just lets people know what all of these different icons and bars mean in our report. Now, the legend does take up quite a bit of room. So it might be that you want to turn this off completely or maybe just have it displayed on the first page. So to change this, we can go into page setup 
and we have a legend tab just here and you can see here legend on every page on a legend page on its own or none so if we choose legend page and click on ok the last page of our report is going to be that legend page so i'm going to go to multiple pages and the last page is just here if we click it there is our legend and it's only on that page and if you want to also print out any notes that we have attached to different tasks, if we click the drop down, we have a little notes section just here. So if we click this, that toggles that setting on. So when we print, we're not only going to get what we can see in the preview, we're going to get any notes that have been attached to the tasks. What was your favorite part of this tutorial? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.